to make the most realistic Sonic.exe in Roblox. Let's go! So today's Sonic.exe is going to be absolutely terrifying. We're going to start by looking up the Werehog hat, which conveniently works super well for, for us. This was originally meant to be Sonic's Werehog form. Oh, hold on. Let me just do Werehog. Let's try that one instead. Yeah, there we go. Werehog hat from Game Fam Time Sonic. Meant for Sonic's original werewolf form, but we're going to be making it so much more terrifying. Because it also conveniently works perfectly for Lord X Sonic.exe. Let's put it on our avatar and let's start the transition into becoming one of the most terrifying Sonics in the world. Bro, look at my hat. It'd be looking crazy. Okay, now let's get started on the face. The first thing we're going to look up, and I bet you wouldn't be able to get guess this, is the full face balaclava. This thing is crazy. This is going to make our face look incredible. We need the full face balaclava. And in fact, it's a full face balaclava mask. So let's look that up as well. There's a very specific one that we need. Look, bro, look at the rainbow one. Here we go. This is the one we need. The full face balaclava mask by firsts. We're going to buy that and we're going to equip that. Look at what this does to our face. This is going to do something insane. Check this out. There we go. This allows our face to be open, but our head to be covered in shadows for our Sonic.exe. But speaking of our face, let's also cover that one in shadows too. We're going to look up shadowed face in the marketplace because we need something that's going to hide every part of our head. And look at this, we got, we got the shadowed face blackhead, that is not what we want. We need something called specifically shadowed face. And if you scroll down, you should eventually get there. I'm specifically going to look up shadowed face here. So we should go down to shadowed face head, shadowed face, no, no. Okay, let's take this one, the shadowed face blackhead right here. Boom, buy it, yoink, and it's going in the customization. Boink. Oh, nope, that's a full face balaclava. There we go. Check this out. This is going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. So far, so good. But our little head's still peeking out the top. We need to change that. We're going to add in the flat shadowed head this time in the marketplace. It should be by Nowgat in brackets. So there we go. The flat shadowed head Nowgat. This one right here. This one is really fascinating, and we're going to use it because it actually does a lot of really good things for what we need. Okay, perfect. This is looking good. This is starting to look really good. Now let's continue with the facial features. So the evil Lord X Sonic.exe has a really creepy nose and we need to focus on that. And I think the perfect thing for this is the clown nose in black in the marketplace. This is a very spooktacular clown nose. Perfect. This is the one that we need for a very spooky Sonic.exe figure. Let's add that to our avatar and soon we're gonna get to the point, yep, yeah, like right here. This is the point where we need to do our classic strategy of going to accessories, choosing any accessory, clicking advance, then going to the item that you don't have equipped and clicking this at the very top at the link up here. You take these numbers and then you paste them into this. And then that should be able to add it without you having to lose any of the others. There you go, perfect. And we're gonna do that for all of our future headgear. And look, that's the start of his nose. This is where it's starting to get real spooky. But let's keep going because we need to also get the Ashes Eyeless Mask. This is gonna add a lot of flavor to our avatar. And you don't see how it does, but it's really, really, really good. It's really cool. I'll show you what it does. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna uh, run once again. We gotta take this. I like to middle click it at the top, and then we go in accessories. Let's just choose a random advanced and paste it in there. And guys, by the end of this, we're gonna use pretty much every single spot there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. All right, bro. Our head is looking amazing. We look like a Sonic.exe without eyes or anything. That is beautiful. But we're nowhere near done because look at this dude. This dude has a lot of stuff going on with his face and we're going to add all of that. We're going to make it look perfect. And the first thing we're going to do, and this is something that not even this one has, we're going to add in some oof juice, some tomato sauce, specifically tomato sauce coming out of the nose. We're looking up the nosebleed UGC. Now we can pick any of these, but I like to add this one specifically by Blizzay. 
Blizzé. So we're gonna buy that, buy it now, customize. And then let's add the nosebleed in. Remember? Boop, grab the numbers. And then we go accessories. Boop, advanced. Boop, boop, booski dooski. Let's see how this nosebleed looks. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, let's keep going because we're not done with the oof juice. We can also look up nosebleed lower in the marketplace. This goes with the other nosebleed and makes it look even more like ketchup. It's perfect for lots of ketchup everywhere. Customize. And then we're going to add this one in too. So we go here. Yoinksy doinksy. And then doink doink. Yonka boink. And then boom. Paste it in there. Perfection. Let's see how this looks. Show me what you got. Perfect. Look, that, that makes it look way better. It's so that it doesn't actually interfere with the other one. Now it's time to get some really creepy eyes. We're going to look up despair eyes in the marketplace, which is absolutely terrifying, I might add. Look at these dudes. Look at these dudes. Oh, they, they be spooky. They really do be spooky badooky. So we're going to boink. We're going to customize that. And I think we can click on this one. Oh, no, I was wrong. Okay, we got to redo it for these. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Perfect. And it turns out we don't even need the nosebleed. We can just keep the nosebleed lower. And oh, look at those. Look at those eyes. Those eyes are so spooky. They're so spooky. Let's get some evil teeth. Now we need some scary black demon teeth. So we're going to go scary black demon smile. And it's a face mask. So look out for the one that's in brackets face mask. It should be, yep, yeah, this one. Perfect. And then we're going to grab this and we're going to use it. Look at that dude. Dude, this is going to be terrifying on him. Oh, I'm so excited to see this. Okay, uh, remember, we're going to go boop. And then we're going to boop so that we don't make a mockery of ourselves again. And then booshity booshity and boobily boo. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that'd be so cool. That is so sick. Let's get some more teeth. We're going to look up scary teeth in the marketplace. And by the way, everyone, the best part about these is that they're quite cheap. And look at all the scary teeth we have here. I'm going to go with this one by Ivo Tonk because those teeth do be really spooky. They be scary as. And we're going to be adding them straight on. Boop, boop, boop. And then accessories, waist, advanced, and pace. Now we've used up all of the options here. That is absolutely insane. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be so cool. Okay, so since we were in full earlier, I've decided to remove this one here so that we can have what room for one more thing in our avatar. And that is the d eyes of the void. These are animated, really creepy eyes which are gonna make your Sonic absolutely pop off. Like, they make him look so cool. So we're gonna get the red animated Eyes of the Void. This is amazing. I've actually already got it in my inventory as well because they're just so good. So I'm gonna go to clothing and, oh no, it should be accessories and it should be on either head or face. I believe it's going to be face. Accessories, face. There we go. Uh, here we go. Animated Eyes of the Void. Yoink. And oh, actually, that might give us a bit more room to work with as well because we might be able to get rid of these other ones. So you can either choose between the Despair Eyes, which are 1111, or you can use the Eyes of the Void, which is these. And let's see which one you prefer. I personally will prefer the Eyes of the Void. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm going to take off the despair eyes so that we can have room for another thing because we can just keep on adding stuff to this Sonic.exe avatar. So we're going to remove it. It's this one here. So we're going to remove these, and it shouldn't make a difference at all to our Sonic. Depends on what eyes you want. I love these because they're actually animated. There we go. Very nice. And then finally, for some extra oof juice, we're going to go to half a red smile in the marketplace. And let me tell you, that red smile is not just from tomato sauce. It's really spooky. We're going to buy this and we're going to put it on. And that should be the last thing that we need to add to the face of Sonic.exe. And remember, everyone, this is just the face of Sonic.exe. We're not even to the body yet. Boom. And this body is going to be huge. It's going to be amazing. Check this out. Check out what the face and head finally look like. Are they going to look like our boy right here? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, that is cool. That is so cool. Okay. Now, the rest of it is actually quite easy because we're just going to use shirts. So, we're going to go and look up Lord X in the marketplace. Thank you. 
And then we're gonna go under shirts, clothing. And it should be under classic. Here we go. We want to find the Lord X plus and the Lord X minus. I don't think it's that one though. Something's telling me it should be this one here. There we go. Because this one looks way better. And then we've got the pants here as well. So we're going to buy both of these and we're going to equip them onto our avatar. Yoink, thank you. Bye and yoink, thank you. Let's put these on our bad boy. So Lord X plus, Lord X minus. You don't need to do the extra trick for this because these are different types of items to these. And have a look at what we got. And by the way, I'm going to quickly... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, never mind. I won't do that quickly because look at this. But this looks like Sonic with yellow hands. Like he's just gone running through yellow paint. We got to change that. So we're going into head and body. We're going to go skin tone. And then we're going to... Mm, let's change it to... You can either make him have white gloves if you change everything to white. Or you can make him have dark black evil hands if you change it to pure black. Like this. So those are white, although I think black's better for this one. I think black works better for Sonic.exe. Okay, there's, there's that one as well. Although, you know what? What might even be better is just a, a color that matches his current skin tone. So maybe something like this. Yeah, I think that works a lot better. In fact, it might, might maybe even a bit darker would be better like this. Perfect, perfect. Look at that boy. Now to make his model just a wee bit better, you don't need to do this, but we're going to go to find the cool kid package in Marketplace. We're going to find the cool kid character and then we're going to use the his body type of item to make our Sonic. So we're, we're looking in characters. And look, we got the Katana Kid, the cool alien. Cold of Frost is a what? And a Carrot Kid. Here we go. This is the guy we need. Cool Kid Mook. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, pal. Okay, we're going into Avatar now that we've got Cool Kid McAwesome. We're going to go head and body. Left arms. Change it to Cool Kid. Right arms. Change it to Cool Kid. Left legs. Change it to Cool Kid. Right here. And then right legs. Change it to Cool Kid because you're the coolest kid on the block. And for the torso, we're just going to go with something simple. We're just going to do a uh, a Roblox boy torso. Right there. Biggity boom, biggity bong. Okay, perfect. And then the last thing we need to do character-wise is increase his size because we don't want him to be tiny we want him to be super tall so we're gonna do that we're gonna make him super tall we're gonna decrease his width if you want him to be a skinnier creepy looking sonic.exe and i'm gonna increase his body type up to here perfect look at that oh that is so cool that is amazing you know what i don't think i like the white part about the head around here we're gonna go back and we're gonna use the flat shadowed head the one by Nowgat. This one right here, because this will give Sonic a much more realistic looking face. And if we have it, oh yeah, okay, that is perfect. Because look at the mouth here, at least has a bit more of the, the old Sonic there. Look, the, on Sonic here, the mouth is still normal. And here, the mouth is still normal. That is perfect. And so the very, very last thing to do now, everyone, is to add the animations. The animations for him walking, running, and everything. For this... I am going to add, hmm, let's add the werewolf walk, because come on, so we all know Sonic.exe is absolutely terrifying. So we're going to do the werewolf walk, we're going to do the werewolf run, we're going to do the werewolf fall, we're going to do werewolf jump, swim, climb, and idle. So jump, swim, and then we're going to show off Sonic.exe, swim, climb, and then werewolf idol and let's try him out and here we are dude we are sonic.exe this looks amazing dude this is terrifying look she's trying to run but you can never escape sonic.exe <laughs> Bruh, she's trying to stay in the pool, but Sonic.exe knows all about him! But guys, smash like and subscribe if you think this Sonic.exe avatar is terrifying! Oh, hey, ow, oh, ow, oh, my home! My home is being destroyed! Ah, oh, I'll just chill right here. I'll see you in the next video. Blucky!